I think what I've learned really very much from this project is feeling the community, becoming part of the community, so that at the end of the day, these people open up and they don't even remember that you are either a researcher, you are a student, you are principal investigator, you know, all these kind of titles that we attach to ourselves. We eat with them, we sit down on the floor with them, we laugh, we shout, we work with them in their gardens. And I think when I visit these communities, they think the project has helped them. But I think it has helped me more as an individual or as a department or as an institution. RU Forum is the Regional Universities Forum for Capacity Building in Agriculture, uh, a network of 42 member universities. The network was created to foster collaboration and engagement within the member universities and ensure that uh, African countries and African universities are able to compete in the area of higher education and specifically the entry point here is agriculture because agriculture is the mainstay for most African countries. The, the Water Cup project is an interesting partnership uh, which was funded by the Austrian Development Corporation. RU Forum uh, brought together member universities, uh, Egerton University in Western Kenya and uh, Makerere University in Uganda, uh, working with the University of uh, Natural Resources and Life Sciences, Boku, in Vienna. The Water Cup uh, is a project that is uh, focusing on strengthening uh, universities to deal with issues of climate change and specifically water vulnerabilities. Kale, embera yobudde yo. Eh kati enkuba tetonyera mu budde ngabo yali badde bo yali etonyedda. Kale we muba mujibalirira anti we gyo kutonyera si bwe tonyera. Ate ekisala kimuta kimuta gisubiramu netonya kati yawo tulina okubanti tubino okwetegekera wo ojiba ojira biddenge wanguse kwe tujiwa tujita kuwangu mostly this uh, this particular area experiences a uh, prolonged droughts sometimes i remember when we first came here it took around 5 months without rain Yet it was raining in other parts of the country. The, the water tanks, we, we catch the water, it is stored there, and the presumption is that this water will take them all through the dry season, around maybe four months. Such that now in that dry season, when they can't, when they can't uh, grow other things, they can grow high value crops and generate income. So basically trying to bring some cheap but relevant technologies to the farmers. Project chain it to yang to Ali to Bonabona Mumaz, Gamazi to Gasena, Wali Mobi Diva, Erachia or Mang. Gataja to Jamalunjiko to Tambla, Compimide Mnech to Mugombo La Yerwanda. Nekati, a Mazi to Gafonida Wakas to Chagenda Ponzis. Ne to Yamba. Envendi iwa ulitwa sozirima. Ne kati tuzi funa bulungi tuzili ya mubujuvu. Mukatale yo tunona yo byanyanja na nyama. Tutasobola kukola chi. This is one of the most exciting uh, projects on which I've participated because it has allowed our students to interact to interact with real life. We've had some of the students they are in the department of uh, uh, agriculture engineering where the curriculum embraces, for example, large-scale uh, irrigation. But these are irrigation systems that we don't have in Uganda. But I think what the Water Cup project has taught them is that they can scale down 
such systems to really fit into the needs of the farmer. We still have one student, a master's student who is almost submitting his proposal and we have a PhD student who is also about to go to do her, her study. So what the Water Cup contributed to her is really to get a feel what is in the community and then develop her research project based on that. My research is about uh, looking at the social, social culture factors that influence the use of communal water resources. I'm working with the pastoral community in Nakasongola district. The project team believe that that uh, small things can lead to big successes. So that is what was driving them to, to at least help these people. Like in Rakai where they constructed uh, water tanks in the households. Currently I'm an assistant lecturer in the Department of Extension. So when I finish my PhD, I hope to stay in the university system and move up the ranks. I would really love to work more with communities and uh, be able to make people's lives better. I think our students learnt a lot, both from themselves, from the international students and even from the communities. Because I think some of the things that we teach in theory here are very difficult to visualise unless you see them. I'm using examples from the Water Cup project to bring theory into practice. And I think that has really been very, very helpful. There are some things which we learned that we were not taught on the other side. Some were really simple, but are neglected at school, but relevant in the daily practices of the farmers. So there are some tricks in bananas which I didn't know. See the way this banana is, the, the, the leaf was cut. At school, we are just told we are supposed to, 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 to prune the banana. So we remove the dry leaves, remove the sick ones, and others which you see are not good. But they are not, we are not told that you are supposed to cut it slanting. And the reason when we came, we are told when it rains, when you cut the leaf like this, when it rains, some water will, will, will probably sink into the bananas and goes down. So, and they say with that it can probably go in with some disease agents. But when you cut it like this, when it rains, then the water just what? Flows. And so, that was something very simple, but just so we learned it from the, 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 the farmers, not, not in class. We have learned from students, they have really taught us the new methods of farming. When they came, we really had a very problem of water, a very big problem of water, whereby we had no these trenches which can cull water from the other end up to this way. But when they came, they also trained us of how we can make this water flow. As they are just learning theoretically, when they come this way, we do train them how we grow these cabbages. At postgraduate level, mostly, masters and PhD, when this research is done with the communities, then uh, you begin to see universities moving to the, to the fields and increasing uptake of innovations and technologies. And uh, universities have opportunity to build research teams that can answer the problems that uh, are within the agriculture sector working with farmers and not working on farmers. Joint learning with communities is a key principle that should be emphasized because it brings universities closer to the people. It makes us move from the ivory towers and we really go down to earth to feel the needs of the communities.